the history of fashion in the world starts from prehistoric cloth, prehistoric clothes, prehistoric headdress, prehistoric body decoration. The following is a timeline of fashion developments. See 3100 BCE Egyptian perfumed their bodies by coating their skin in fragrant oils and ointments. C. 3000 BCE Men and women in the Middle East, Africa, and the Far East have wrapped turbans on their heads since ancient times, and the turban continues to be popular with both men and women in many modern cultures. C. 2600 BCE to 900 CE Ancient Mayans, whose civilization flourished in Belize and on the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico, flattened the heads of the children of wealthy and powerful members of society. The children's heads are squeezed be the children's heads are squeezed between two boards to elongate their skulls into the into a shape that looks very similar to an ear of corn. See 2500 BCE Indians were a ripe style of trousers called a dhoti and a skirt like lower body covering called a lunge. See 2500 BCE, Indian women began to adorn themselves in the wrapped dress style called a sari. C. 1500 BCE, Egyptian men adopt the tunic as an upper body covering when Egypt conquers Syria. C. 27 BCE to 4 100 C 27 BCE to 476 CE Roman soldiers especially horsemen adopt the trousers or familia of the nomadic tribes they encounter on the outskirts of the Roman Empire 6th and 5th century BCE the Doric Gitan becomes one of the most popular garments for both men and women in ancient Greece. 5th century BCE, the toga, a ripe garment, is favored by Romans. To cut short, I'll continue in 1954 and all friends can post this video to read the timeline of C476 to 1950s Liquid mascara is sold at retail stores in tops with a brush inside. 1960s and 1970s, the outfit featuring a person naturally curly hair trimmed in a full, evenly round shape around the head is the most popular hairstyle among African Americans. 1965, women begin wearing mini skirts with hemline hitting at mid tight or above. 1980s, power dressing becomes a trend toward wearing expensive designer clothing for work. 1990s, casual Fridays becomes the name given to the practice of the allowing employees to dress informally on the last day of the work week. 1990s, brunch, a trend for wearing old, sometimes stained or ripped clothing, becomes a fashion sensation and prompts designers to sell simple flannel shirts for a price in excess of $1,000. 
2000s versions of clothing available during the 1960s and 1970s, such as bell-bottom jeans and the piercing look, returned to fashion as retro fashions. During the 16th or 16th century AD, the kepa became the first type of clothing worn by Indonesian women. Until the middle 18th century, there were two types of kebaya clothes that were widely worn by the public, namely the ancient kebaya, a dress worn by Chinese women of the sun in Indonesia, and the kutubaru kebaya, a short, colorful tone style dress with a beautiful motifs. In the 15th century, the kebaya dress was worn by all social classes every day, both Japanese and Dutch women. Even the kebaya had become a mandatory dress for Dutch women who moved to Indonesia. The fifties was marked by an elegant classic dress style, which was popularly known as the new look style, which was adapted from more fashion trend. In the past, this fashion model is often seen as a model designed by Christian Dior. In the 90s until now, it was a time when individual styles seemed more and more daring to speak. It's no wonder that in this era, an increasing number of talented fashion designers came with their own uniqueness that reflects their respective characters. There are those who just play clothes of vintage style clothing, some, some are masculine, have a beautiful style, look luxurious and elegant to a unique style.